Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session, we have started a new subject that related to your automobile field and that is automobile chassis and body engineering. So in last session, we have completed introduction session that related to syllabus on automobile chassis and body engineering. So in today's session, we will start a new chapter that related to chassis frame, right? So in this particular session, we will discuss a basic three topics that related to chassis frame. First topic that is introduction on chassis frame or you can take functions on chassis frame. Second topic that related to chassis frame operating design consideration and last one third one that is chassis frame component or in this particular question we will discuss a block diagram on chassis frame right so let's start the lecture lecture number two that related to chassis frame so the first and important question that is what do you understand by vehicle chassis so in this particular video you can see that there is one propeller shaft that connected with engine, clutch, okay, and there are many types of mechanical joints, right, and it is also connected with four-wheeler, okay, so this is called vehicle chassis, only shaft or you can take only structure, this is called frame, but if you connect, if you connect a uh, four-wheeler, engine, clutch, right, so this assembly is called vehicle chassis, okay, so the first and important one that is, it is the main supporting structure, right? It is the main supporting structure of your vehicle. Second one that is, it carry load, okay? We will, we will discuss about load, passenger's load, right? So second one that is, to support the vehicle's mechanical component and body because ultimately, this, this is called frame or this is called chassis in which body is placed over there, okay? So second one that is to support the vehicle's mechanical component and body. Third one that is to deal with, to deal with static and dynamic load without undue deflection or distortion. Okay. So it is generally related to passenger's load or it is generally related to different kind of material also. So this is what vehicle chases. Fourth one that is the frame must be light. Okay, the frame must be light but sufficiently strong to withstand the load. Okay, withstand the load of your vehicle. So ultimately vehicle chassis is nothing but one kind of structure which is connected to which is one, one kind of frame which is connected to four wheeler in which over in which body is placed. Okay, so this is called vehicle chassis. There are many types of there are many types of vehicle chassis, right? Backbone chassis monococcy chases, ladder chases. In this particular chapter, we will discuss this type of chases, right? So move forward to next slide. So here you can see vehicle chases, right? One shaft is uh, connected to engine, clutch and many types of joints, mechanical joints and it is also connected to four wheeler, right? So this is called vehicle chases, right? So move forward to next slide. Functions of vehicle chases. So there are mainly four functions that connected to your vehicle chases. First, an important function that is to support to support the vehicle's mechanical component and body. You can take assembly. Okay, vehicle's mechanical component and body. Second one that is to withstand the centrifugal force caused by concerning of the vehicle. Okay, this is very important. Third one that is to control the vibration. It is very important because ultimately we need to reduce our accident. Okay. And based on that, there are two types of safety. Active safety and passive safety. We will discuss in chapter number three. There are two types of safety here. Active safety and passive safety. So third one that is to control the vibration caused by the running of the vehicle. Fourth one that is to withstand bending stress. Okay, bending stress is very important. If you take mechanical point of view, bending stress is very important. To withstand bending stress due to rise and fall of the front and rear axle. So these are the functions of vehicle chases that ultimately related to your support of vehicle mechanical component to withstand centrifugal force, 
to control the vibration if you take accident purpose and fourth one that is pending stresses okay so these are the functions of vehicle changes so move forward to next slide changes from operating and design consideration so here the first and important one that is the total height must be set between specified requirement of the vehicle second one that is the wheel base must be set between specified requirement of the vehicle third one and important one that is the track width must be set between the specified requirement of the vehicle fourth one that is the ground clearance it must be specified uh, it must be set between specified requirement of the vehicle and last one and important one that is the maximum vehicle weight the maximum vehicle weight must be set between specified requirement of the vehicle ultimately what do you understand first of all what do you understand by changes from operating and design consideration right design consideration how can you calculate design consideration because ultimately in chapter number 3 we will discuss about uh, driver seat uh, configuration driver seat design uh, configuration and the passenger seat design calculation right so this is very important how can you calculate design consideration okay so move forward to next slide changes from component so here you can see block diagram on changes frame component okay in center one that is called propel uh, center frame that is called propeller shaft okay in, if you can if you see in uh, image that there is one shaft that is called propeller shaft in which gear box clutch and engine are uh, connected okay and it also connect with four wheeler right and the outer body you can see in image the outer body it is known as a structure or you can take frame okay so if you take only frame so outer body outer body is known as frame but if you connect with shaft if you connect with engine if you connect with clutch and mechanical components like slip joint universal uh, universal joint so this this is called chassis okay so the main and important difference is difference between frame and uh changes right so it is very important so the basic component basic component of changes frame uh, body uh, changes frame is first one that is propeller sub propeller sub which which is connected to gear box clutch and engine right uh, and uh, the center point that is called slip joint okay by uh, with the help of slip joint we can connect propeller sub with gear box clutch and engine and there are four wheeler also okay so this is what changes frame component so move forward to next slide changes frame basic component okay first one that is frame so it is made up two member called side member pivoted together okay the outside structure this is called frame second one that is engine so what do you understand by engine so we all know that engine provide the sources of power okay engine provide sources of power okay third one that is clutch so what is the function of clutch okay so it connect and disconnect the power from the engine flywheel to transmission right so what is the function of clutch because ultimately clutch which connected with the engine okay engine what is the function of engine engine provide the sources of power but it connect and disconnect the power from the engine flywheel to transmission this function is known as clutch fourth one that is gearbox so now the question is what is the function of gearbox gearbox is usually bolted to the rear of the engine and it is very important gearbox function is very important it is bolted to the rear of the engine with the clutch between them right and last one that is propeller shaft so now the question is what do you understand by propeller shaft okay so it is one kind of hollow circular shaft which is used to transmit the power right so this is called propeller shaft it is one kind of hollow circular shaft which is used to transmit the power so this these are the basic changes frame component first one that is frame second one that is engine third one that is engine it it provide sources of power clutch it connect or disconnect the power fourth one that is gear it is usually bolted rear of the engine it is very important and last one that is propeller shaft it is one kind of hollow circular shaft which is used to transmit the power right so thank you thank you so much in this particular session we have completed
basic introduction of chasis frame and also completed block diagram of chasis frame component and basic elements of chasis frame component so in next session we will discuss about types of chasis